Special thanks to Thingy, the Temporal Discussion Podcast, Lemon314, Lord Entropy, Avalie Long, JL, Laszlo Panaflex, Metric Conversion, Nubix Cube, Val Sharan, A, Bender Waffles, Freak, Shuin 3D Blast, Shine Wolf, Ryan Devil23, Ministry of On We Control, Miku Zeech, and Grizzly Old B for sponsoring my videos on the Ramp Project. Go to David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Oh, according to my spreadsheet, I've done 235 maps now, which usually, in any normal month, that would be uh, considered adequate, I think, but uh, we've still got 50 to go. Um, nevertheless, we'll ply onwards. We have a map by uh, Steve the Stone here. Uh, sorry your uh, stint in Dream Theatre didn't work out, but I'm glad that you're uh, submitting things to here. Uh, this one's called Toxic Storage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh. the, the generator had some secondary effects. Those doors must have been on the wireless connection. I enjoyed the look of this already, by the way. This is, um... The same, uh, beveled look as uh, I mentioned a couple of maps ago. Where you're not using 90 degree corners, you've got all these details, so the in and out lights and things. It really makes the uh, base look a lot less uh, dull than it otherwise could. Because you'd think uh, in Doom there are only so many crate rooms you can uh, look at. But uh, people make them every kind of unique. Oh, toxic storage, but not quite. That creates some trouble. Uh, right, I was gonna pull a switch here or something. No, I did that, okay. Ah, uh, we've got those, okay. Let's go around to where this was. Can I just get up here, please? I can, great. Cute little forklift, look at those little wheels! <laughs> Remind me of Minecraft when you know when you build a car or something, you build it out of uh, picture frames and black wool. There's a lot of uh, scavenging uh, resources like that in uh, Doom when you stick to the classic textures. Definitely heard some uh, former humans waking up. There they are. Where does that teleport lead? Will I regret taking it? doing it on the crates now. <laughs> but steady on with those crates, but uh, it is an easy uh, kind of combat scenario to have in Doom. Gives you an excuse to have all these uh, obstacles around the room and things to climb on and over. I'm having a lot of fun blasting it through this, by the way.
There we go. Let's head backwards. Actually, let's not head backwards yet. Let's take that armor first. Now let's head backwards to that uh, teleporter that I uh, mentioned in passing a while ago. Oh, it doesn't do anything. All right. Clearly that's where the hell invasion started. I do like uh, the uh, lights at the edge of the doors as well. They give uh, the doors a great uh, sort of set back from the wall appearance. Thought I stepped into a eternal void over there. Oh yeah, this is the uh, big machine that uh, punches the crates. Oh, it's putting the lids on, that's what it is. The conveyor belt, which, uh, yeah, the, and these don't have uh, the tops on them. And this pours the stuff into it, and this uh, lids it, and this uh, sends it off to the local Republican convention. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where are we going? Oh, not that way. Okay. Let's have a look at that switch. Haha, <laughs> that's quite a lot of lost souls! Yeah, that reminds me of uh, the different monster, but it reminds me of the chain gunner's trap in the pit, map 08 of Doom 2, I think. All right, uh, yeah, this will be more efficient. This is like a non-rail shooter here where you have to keep the monsters back and spread your fire and uh, it's designed so that you absolutely can't and you've got to lose a life there. Here we go. Quite a toxic environment here. <laughs> Let's go over here instead. Oh, that's much better. Thank you. I was certain something else was going to come out of that room. Oh, here's an arena. Well, that's all from me. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, I can't get out. All right. Give us a kicking. Oh, that's quite a lot of them. one in the middle first, uh, just because it seems like the kind of thing you should do. Can't say, how much health do you have? Monster edited, or am I just really bad at it? Hang on. Info. Uh, amount of health. health. Ah, spawn health 1750. 
This is, uh, wherever's above a baron. Don't really know. Lord of Hell. Ah! Oh, this is actually better covered there. do the same damage as Hell Knight, so I should know this. Maybe that one's been edited not to, but uh, I think they just share the same attack. At last, okay. Oh, there we go. Another map where I didn't find the evidently available rocket launcher. But uh, we got through it in the end anyway. Oh, that was a really nicely uh, realised tech base map. Uh, like I said, I thought you might have overdone it slightly on the crate maze at the start, but as, as soon as it outstayed its welcome, you went into other environments. Uh, so I thought that was uh, just really quite nicely done. We are going on a mineshaft massacre now. Uh, I just put in any random number that came into my head just then. 282, Mineshaft Massacre by Mr. Taters, and it's in the Accursed Ruins. And here we go, it's uh, right at the back again, in the uh, sort of temple area. As above, so below. Uh, where am I going? Forgotten everything about the hub map uh, in that instant. Here we go, this will complete, no, well, it won't complete the temple area, I've still got this one to go. 163. Okay, we'll be back, but for now, Mineshaft Massacre. Oh, it looks like the massacre has happened without me. Oh, it never, uh, I never realised until this moment that uh, that's a Doom Guy helmet, just on the peak there. I'd, I thought these were sort of uh, crescents of uh, flesh of some description. It's like how I always thought the main character in Cave Story was weirdly poorly drawn, but I'd been misinterpreting the sprite, and a lot of uh, a lot of people do misinterpret that sprite. It's meant to be half turned towards the the uh, player, the camera, but uh, it just looks like he's got one eye and the sort of comms unit at the back of his helmet. Yeah, th this seems better. Gonna need a shotgun soon, please. A uh, rocket launcher would do as well. That's blue. Where's your sergeant? There he is. Right. You want to be a bit careful with uh, textures here in crates because you can see you've got some cutting off at the edges, you've got some sliding into the wall. Uh, when you do those crate textures, uh, you have to either intersperse them with different uh, textures to stretch them out a bit, or just to stick with the uh, 64 by 64 blocks. be able to go to the top floor as well. I, I'm uh, assuming that I'm going back into the crate maze. Yeah. Alright, I do actually have the red key. That's nice. I've got a control room in here.
Oh, and uh, a load of uh, non-orthogonal uh, architecture as well, which is always very impressive to see. It's kind of unfortunate that uh, when you do architecture like that, the player doesn't often notice, because they see 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. You have to do something really quite intertwined with 90 degree corners for the player to even notice anything. Unimaginable it must be to Penny that uh, it was so impressive to see a 3D environment moving like this for the first time. Because she, um, impressive, she doesn't have the graphical snobbery uh, that you might expect from being uninterested in older games. I think partly because uh, she grew up with uh, the diverse games I played, and well, as well as Minecraft. To her, games are just what those games choose to look like. And uh, something doesn't have bad graphics if it's uh, pixely or low definition. She doesn't quite understand that uh, we didn't always have this kind of fidelity available. We were playing I Am Bread. And... Uh, She saw the 80s style office and thought that meant this game must have been made in the 80s. Is this it? That's it! That was the Mineshaft Massacre. Nice brief map again. Uh, took me through... I, I thought actually that uh, it was going to wind back and I'd have to come back and after collecting a key, but uh, perhaps I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, that worked really well. Thank you for uh, coming on board to ramp. We're about to go on a power trip by Raza in the Starbase, which that's this one. Still got quite a few of them to go in here. Well, I've got quite a few of them to go everywhere. You would think that uh, we might be finished one of the areas by now, uh, but that's just not happening. 577 monsters. Let's make a start. Ah, beginning to understand the name of this map. I desperately hope it continues. Another uh, James Paddock midi in the Mega Man style. He's really an asset to the Doom community, giving us so much of his music for free. Even the ones that are for uh, commissioned projects, uh, often commercial stuff that. Uh, He's agreed to make the music and then, as long as I can then uh, give it to the community to use for anything. It's really nice. Oh, that's not so relaxing. Going to have to uh, be a bit more careful here. Ah, that'll help. 
What? Well, I admire your element of surprise as well. I thought that was a portal for some reason. Just because everyone's gone portal mad this year. Ah! Some new arrivals. Really taking care of that monster count. You, uh... Oh, forget I see it. Oh! I see it, Mega Sphere, a bit too late. I might have some trouble with those uh, Revenant missiles. But we'll see what we can do with them. Got it. Oh, that's released them, though. Looks like we'll be using the rocket launcher. Ah! Maybe the uh, thing to do is to hold off on that megasphere as much as I can. Uh, which is not going to be very long. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, I see the cells up there. Okay. Maybe so if I push forward into here. That might be better. Right, there's about five monsters left now. Okay, let's BFG those revenants. That gets rid of most of the problem. Oh, I can't get him from this side. Yeah, that's, uh, I find the way through it. Sometimes difficult to know how to classify these uh, big slaughter maps. Because they've got, you know, a million tons of uh, demon flesh in them. But sometimes they're not actually that difficult if you just feel the right uh, way through them. Hmm. 
Oh, he got released. Thanks. He got released in the most trapped way he could, which is very good for me. All right, I see I'm going to have to find another way around. Oh, you've arrived as well, okay. Uh, were there more cells up there? There were, okay. So I'm not fighting all these with rockets. Not after last time. Seven, six. Oh, why did I switch away from that? Five, two, one, zero. Okay. And uh, now we have the Chance to pull these switches and just saunter out. This was a really uh, quite therapeutic map. It had its uh, challenge at the end, but uh, I got through it once I found the right route. And uh, it was just really quite pleasantly made. And this lets me go back, I suppose. All right. Exfiltration is next filtration. And that's 284 in the Infernal Castle. This one's by Orang. And I think it's possibly the last one. Uh, I keep on saying the last one in the library, but there's always another one in the library. We've got one, two, three more, I think. Yeah, all right. Here we go. 58 monsters. Bit of extra health. Blue card, yellow card, white card. Oh, your computer's a bit wonky. Uh, was there supposed to be a castle in this or something? Was I just really tired when I did some of these classifications? Yeah, I choose this door, please. I was reading about the Monty Hall problem again. Uh, somewhere, can't remember where. Google it if you don't know it, it's fascinating, because it's it's about probabilities of statistics and it's it's extremely obvious on the surface that this tactic, this theory, will never work. <laughs> and yet it absolutely does. It's so interesting. Oh, don't like this much. Well, that hasn't set me on fire yet. It's quite welcome. Ah, stealth monsters. You know, I've learned to not complain about stealth monsters anymore. As long as they're used uh, correct, let's correctly. I think that's the correct way to do anything and do. Uh, as long as they use sparingly and uh, tactically, I think they have a place. Ah. 
There we go. Ah. And I'll take some of those. Uh, that's good. I like the little details of the uh, mechanical room and the uh, sign there. Now oh, the lights are on. That's much better. Thank you. Oh, the archrail is still there. Okay. Probably be worse if he'd gone. <laughs> Couldn't just let me enjoy it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, at least we back to the start like that. Some nice use of textures to make the uh, computers here. All right. Just out of interest, can I go back the way? I can't. Okay, so you have to go all the way. Uh, oh yeah, I did that. Here we go! having a conversation through the window when they were suddenly zombified. Well, that was a nice little lift. Change of atmosphere on the top floor, that's always uh, a good thing to see. Shells, shells, more armor. <clears throat> oh, red card, okay. It would be good if the poly objects had sound. I suspect, actually, that this might be the victim of colliding with another map's uh, poly object sound. Because through some uh, methods, you have to specify a number for them. And uh, if there was a collision, I uh, just threw out the later one. Uh, how do I release the plasma gun? Without someone uh, pressing the wrong control and releasing the monkey bus as well. There'll be one of them around here. I can't get the key. Oh, I can jump. Sorry. I'll just 
go back the way you came. Where am I? Is that you need all four keys? Um, what's the switch miles ago? Because I seem to be getting into a new section of the map there. I expected uh, to be led back to this room. Right, great, okay. Oh, it did eventually come down. Left, 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 left. Is this an alternative way? Yes, it is, okay. Isn't it nice having blue armor? What's he doing there? Does it block his uh, movement but not his line of sight? Doesn't block his stupidity. Uh, which way? Well, let's try the other one. Coming up another ten minutes here. I, uh, I actually thought this would be a shorter map, but uh, it's uh, grown its fangs quite late. Looked like it was going to be very straightforward. No, not you as well. <sighs> there we go. I always keep thinking there's so many games I'm going to play uh, once I'm uh, finished with these videos. And uh, I don't think that ever happens, I just end up playing Doom all the time. <laughs> Speaks a lot about Doom that, uh, about how much they got right the first time, that, uh, you know, we, we've made some improvements to Doom over the years. We've uh, given ourselves some more line actions, we've given ourselves some scripting and so on, and turned it into a... I remember someone describing it once as weird unity, GZ Doom. Oh, that's... Oh, is that just a missing texture? Might be. Um... Hi there! Oh, you just use him and the secrets reveal. Um... But it does say a lot that there's never been a monster kit or anything that's deemed absolutely vital in addition to the base monsters. The base monsters have been uh, very reliable. No one's really felt the need to add, no, have say, you've got to use this enhancement these days or your map will look amateurish, like uh, potentially some other games with big modding communities. There's always this base community pack. And we've got that for textures, and we've got that for, you know, mapping features, UDMF, but we don't have it for monsters. <laughs> Something has opened! Yeah, it's my bowels. Uh, okay, change map. It was a great looking map, and uh, exploring it to gradually getting. Uh, harder was, uh, it, it was quite a good difficulty curve is what I'm stumbling through trying to say. And I think that was, uh, directly related to, uh, you getting more, uh, confident with UDMF and, uh, Doom Builder as you went on. Uh, last one this time is going to be Ruined District, and it's by Jonah X Machina, John X Machina, 
sorry. And it's going to go to the town square. Next time around, I'm going to use a font with some capital letters in it. Here we go. This looks like an amazing city map. Who's ruining it with the uh, shotgunning me? Can't jump suddenly, okay. Oh, look at this little hot dog stand! And uh, the fact that uh, a member of the Doom community, a famously violent, controversial game, can say, Oh, look at that little hot dog stand! and not instantly be excommunicated is uh, just a sign of how uh, diverse and inclusive the Doom community has got over time. Uh, okay, I'm, g I'm going nowhere just uh, wandering around, so let's uh, try to be methodical. Uh, can't go there, can't go there. Uh, this looks like it might be an automatic door, but I can't go through there. Not there either. Oh, the iron brew's up there. Which means there might be a way into this building from some direction. There is, okay. A little, uh, can, pencil, note. television screen that unleashes giant monsters. Oh, there's even a little remote control on the desk there. Oh, I thought it might uh, remove the green armour as well. That's the cleaner. Tiny little switch. Did that just give me a chain gun, or was it going to give me uh, something more useful as well? There's a backpack over there. There we go. Anything else in here? It's another place where you think you must have used portals for starting this building, but it's not. It's just all uh, laid out on a 2D grid. We've got the yellow key, and now it's clearer to me where we should be going. Up to a point. I like the uh, wires made out of the techno uh, wall textures. And those are, is, that, is that a new texture or is it just loads of uh, middles of the door sellotaped together? It's definitely repeated, I just don't know uh, whether that's an actual texture or not. Oh, what? What got me so badly there? Is there a revenant I failed to notice? Oh, I might have been actually, there's one up there.
that was a sudden music change. I thought I'd uh, done something. Oh, did the Revenant follow me out? I thought uh, I'd be... I thought you'd be stuck there. Everything we can from here. Let's head to the red door. Oh, hang on. of that. Well, I thought that little patch there that's uh, to draw your attention to that uh, wall. Well, I thought that might be uh, the noise of something lowering, but it's this uh, sort of uppy downy power generator thing. What am I missing? There. Okay. Don't even know if I needed this. Why did I take it? Um. Yeah, that'll do, actually. It's quite useful for this. Oh, especially the uh, night vision effect. I didn't realise I needed that. I'm glad I got to uh, glimpse the lighting effect uh, at the end, though. At the end, what a complete mug I am. There's a bazaar. Come on, then. Right, that's not bizarre. There we go. What's up here? Trouble is up here. No, actually, uh, much less than I'd expected. Okay. Uh, didn't get any keys from that, though, did we? What's next? <laughs> okay, then. Ah. So, yeah, the... Uh, angle at which you exited that last building was clever because it makes you see the courtyard and get intrigued as to what's there. <sighs> and I'm deliberately not taking that supercharge because uh, 
I'd lose just a little bit of health by taking it just now. Probably not a significant amount, but I want to be able to recharge after this uh, absolute cluster. I uh, saw someone uh, pointed uh, someone on the YouTube video to one of my tutorials the other day, and uh, the person who had asked the question just commented back, he has the poshest voice in the world. Which I don't think I do. My brother, who does, uh, uh, I think, Overwatch, Team Fortress 2, and uh, something else streams, uh, Quadralian, his channel is. I think he talks posher than me. He sounds like a pilot during World War II. in the underbelly of the city now. I've been going for 10 minutes, but I've only got seven monsters to go. And, and I just shot myself in the face. Uh, do I want to go there or do I want to go here? Oh, a single health potion. Uh, might be time to use that berserk now. No, not that. Okay. There's the blue skull, there's an arch file, there's the exit. And we're done. Okay. Again, nice of you to provide the uh, computer map at the end there to uh, help people discover what they'd missed during the map. And uh, I was just really impressed with the architecture of the city there, uh, especially how it intertwined with uh, places that weren't within the city. Uh, you had all kinds of environments like the uh, insides of the computer rooms and the sewers and everything. All right, we are five more maps closer to the finish. Uh, finish is still quite a while away, <laughs> but we're getting there all the time. Uh, just two more videos until we reach the top level, the end of the numbered maps, and I'll go back and uh, fill out the ones that uh, weren't finished my first time round. <sighs> I hope you will continue to join me then.